Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium Web Driver videos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about stale element reference exception. So, what does it mean by stale element reference? So, the from the dictionary, stale is nothing. Uh, the definition of stale is not fresh. So, what does it mean by not fresh here? All right. So to demonstrate that, I have a small uh, web page. In this web page, what I have is I have a refresh button. All right. So when I click on refresh, the same page get refresh. All right. So the scenario here is, for example, say I have identified this refresh button. All right. After that, I clicked on this button, and the same page got reloaded. And when I am trying to perform any operation in the same button which is identified before the refresh object, then Selenium WebDriver compliant saying that oh this object is not fresh because the page the page got reloaded or refresh. All right. So during because of that, it will throw you an exception and the test script will fail. All right, so let me show that by executing this sample code. I just have like you know, I have created a driver uh, instance, and after that I am I'm getting that web page, and after that I am identifying this object, and I'm just clicking on it. All right, I'm just printing some messages, and I'm just waiting for one second, and after that I'm again because this I this element already identified when I am trying to click with the same identification then it will throw you an exception all right so let me execute it yes yeah, you can see the page the browser is opened it navigated first as you can see if you can go to this so it just first clicked on that button and i am click first time got printed because of this click what happened was the same page got refreshed right but if i use the same identification which like you know which are the identification which was done before the press load with the same thing if I use it then it is compliant complaining saying that stale element reference exception right so where so uh, why this exception is like in real time application also right there are many situations where this kind of exception uh, like you know this kind of functionality will be there right so one such example like you know uh, if you go to any stock market website where the page is automatically like you know uh, in a time frame it is getting refreshed or if you perform some operation the same page will get refreshed uh, one such example is something like say uh, i have some web table like this all right if i have two links like add user remove user right so when i click on add user it will navigate to another frame where i will enter the user detail and clicking on create user button here the user details will be added here all right so before adding what it will happen is the page will get refreshed right so and uh, if you try to perform the like you know operation then it will throw you an error all right or else there might be some situations where you might be having some column names if you for example say i identified the object all right so after that i clicked on this column name which will do the sorting operation all right the page is get refreshed when i am trying to use the same web object uh, web table object then it will throw you stale element reference exception right these are like you know this functionality the page is getting refreshing like we should be done in many applications right so in order to overcome that exception what you have to do is 
you need to re-identify the object once again so as you can see if I put I'm re-identifying the object then you will not see this error again as you can see I'm here after the page got refreshed right I am re-identifying this object and after the time clicking on the refresh button again so uh, when I execute it now it shouldn't it should not throw any error all right as you can see which printed the first first statement and after that which clicked on the same refresh button again and it printed the second message as well all right people who are familiar with the QTP they they will uh, they will know about refresh object method all right so the same thing like they they, they can use refresh object or init method right the same way in order to re-identify the like you know perform any operation after refresh or reload we need to re-identify this object again all right so uh, in order to do this in in this manner i am writing a function something like this like refresh object this is a method all right so what i am doing is i am doing the same thing i am returning the same either identification object again driver dot find element by whatever the locator that you are giving here I am returning that object so this will be like you know looped until which doesn't throw stale element reference exception all right this is like a bit more professional way of writing selenium web driver code but it is up to you in what way that you want all right so I hope you have understand what the sale element reference exception all right thanks for watching this video please leave your comment about this video thank you